Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Here we are uh, going to discuss another question on block diagram reduction and uh, we'll try to apply the block diagram reduction rules to simplify this block diagram. Okay, so here we have uh, a block diagram given and we have to find out the transfer function of the overall system CS by RS. Okay, so let us just start uh, simplifying it. So now, as we have done in the previous questions, we have to find out a pattern, a place where we can apply the block diagram reduction rules. So here we can see there is a negative feedback connection. Okay, <clears throat> but it is not in the standard form. Okay, it is not in the standard form like this. It's not in the standard form. So we have to manipulate it in such a way without altering the signal values so that we can bring it in a standard form so that we can apply the block diagram reduction rule and convert it into a single block by applying g by 1 plus gh this rule okay so the only problem here is that there is a summing point in between this takeoff point and this block okay now let us try to interchange the place of this block and this summing point. We have to interchange this block and this summer. So we have to bring this summer in the place of this block G2 and we have to shift this G2 block here in the place of the summer. Okay, let us understand how we have to do it. Okay, we are trying to create a similar situation here to make you understand. Let us say this block is G and we have this summer here. Let the signal value to the block be A and let this bottom signal be B. Now the output of this summer is AG plus B, isn't it? When signal A is applied to G, the output of this block is AG. So AG is given to here it is plus, both are plus, so it is AG plus B. Now, if we wish to shift this summing point here and bring the block here, the rule says that the output should remain unchanged. It means that the net output should stay, should remain constant, irrespective of the interchanging of the places of the block and the summer. If the net output remains unchanged, it means the manipulations are okay they are not violating the input and output relationship okay so let us do that so here yeah. let us do okay we have bought the summer here. This is the bottom signal. The bottom signal moves along with the summer. Okay. This is B. Now, the output of this summer is fed to the block G. Now, the output. What is the output? It is A, it is B. So, it is A plus B. When it gets multiplied with G, it becomes a G plus B G. But what output do we need? It is A G plus B. So now it violates the input output relationship. It means it is wrong. This interchange is wrong. So how can we convert this A G plus B G into A G plus B? So we have to make some changes here. We have to make some changes here. Suppose here I add another block 1 by G okay so the output will be B by G so this will become 
a plus b by g so when it passes through this block it will become a g plus b by g into g it will be p so now this signal this input output relationship it is it's holding the input output relationship it means now the manipulation is correct so now if we wish to shift do the same thing here if we wish to shift the summer here and this block here so we have to make some changes here so let us do that So we are shifting the summing point here. Plus, plus. So this will become G3 and 1 by G2. Okay this here and then we will have this G2 here. We have interchanged the place of the summer and the block. Okay, We have shifted the G2 here and the summer here. Now these two blocks are connected in cascade G3 and 1 by G2. So we can convert them into one G3 by G2 block. They will be multiplied. Blocks connected in cascade are simply multiplied together. Okay, at any point you can rewind the video and uh, see how the manipulations, how the changes are made, what changes are made and what way they are made. You can rewind as much as you want. Okay, only then you will understand it. Okay, so it is G3 by g2 g3 into 1 by g2 blocks are connected in cascade so that's why this okay now still we cannot apply the negative feedback connection rule here now if we interchange these two summers that is we bring this summer here and this summer there then we can apply the block diagram reduction rule okay so let us see how we can do that okay let us see how we can do that see let us say we have two summers here okay a similar way in which they are connected we have two summers we have plus minus and this summer plus and plus let us say this is signal value is a this is b and this is c so this is a minus b and the net output is a minus b plus c now if we want to interchange the places of these two summers it means the rule says that the net output should remain constant it means the output should remain unchanged okay so let us do that let us say we are taking this summer here okay the bottom output will move along with it so this is a plus c and here the b so now it is a plus c minus b okay here it is a plus c and here it is a plus c minus b both of them are same isn't it we have interchanged the places of the two summers and still we have we get the same output it means the interchanges it holds the input output relationship it preserves the input output relationship so it is correct so here we can do the same thing okay so what we'll do 
will interchange the places of the two summers okay Okay, so here it is like this. And here it is like this. Okay, so we have interchanged the places of the two summers. So now it is a classic negative feedback connection and this is a two forward paths which are fed to the same summing block so this this thing we can replace it with g2 by 1 plus g2 h1 okay this will become g2 by 1 plus g2 H one and this will become G one plus G three by G two. Okay, this one will become G one plus G three by G two. Two forward paths having positive summing inputs. So it will become G one plus G three by G two. by G2. Okay. Now, these two blocks are again connected in cascade. So, the gains will be multiplied. So, the net output will be G1 plus G3 by G2 into G2 by 1 plus G2 H1. This is RS, this is CS. So, CS by RS is equal to G1 plus G3 by G2 into G2 by 1 plus G2 H1. Okay. So, we have converted the entire block diagram into this simple form. Okay. So, you can rewind where you have any doubt and uh, please go back to that point and again cross check how the manipulations, how the changes were made and uh, practice it several times and then you will uh, get a hold of how to uh, twist and turn things and to apply the rules of the block diagram reduction to simplify a block diagram. Okay. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.